everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. Initially, when I tuned into the week to look, I took out a map and I was sensing kind of doing some psychometry over the map to see what areas of primarily the United States I was picking up any energy on. So here's what I was picking up on for this week. I did get some specific things, so I'll get into that in a minute, but I'm just giving you an overall of what I felt energetically. P places that might be in the news this week that we might see significant events coming out. Okay, Southern California was one. Michigan was another. Um, I got the Pacific Northwest probably just because of the heat wave and all of that that's been in the news. And then I got the Northeast. So specifically was like Pennsylvania, New York. Um, I kind of picked up on the Pittsburgh area and I'm, I felt some sort of disruption. Uh, and there may be some sort of event happening around that area. And it may not be Pittsburgh proper, but somewhere around that vicinity. Um, I, I was picking up on possible maybe like a like a building fire or some type of big event where like fire trucks were involved um, that kind of thing so I was picking up on that a possible building I don't know if it collapses or catches fire that's a maybe on that I don't know if that's the Pittsburgh thing or if that's something I was picking up on I did also get um, a little bit of Arizona. I didn't get any um, like major like bad feeling coming out with that, but I, I did pick up, obviously it's gonna be in the news this week, it looks like the results of that particular audit might be coming out, so okay. So in the news, I did pick up on, we had the Nine of Swords, which is kind of a sad card. And so I was thinking that there that could be related to that building or fire or something perhaps in the Northeast. Um, and what I saw with that was what we will see and what's hidden from view. And it was interesting the cards I got because the what we see card was looking directly the way the cards were laid out at the hidden from view card. And to me that had significance of somebody searching for answers and not getting the answers that they're that they're wanting. So perhaps if some event happens or something takes place, it might have people going, we want answers, we, we want to know what happened. Um, and perhaps things have to be investigated to know exactly what happened and sometimes th that might take time. So it's this this idea or energy of we're, we want answers for this and those answers didn't seem to be very forthcoming, okay? At least not right away. As far as the Arizona audit, I kind of looked into that a little bit, and I got the King of Swords coming out on that, and it, the card of Innocence, um, the Six of Cups crossing it, and that King of Swords was looking directly at the past card uh, which had like someone turning their back and trying to look away. But the gaze of the King of Swords card was looking like, I know your secrets. And um, there was a card up top that was like the Nine of Wands about waiting and felt like this has been perhaps something that's been long awaited, waiting a long time. Um, it did feel like this was a new beginning because we had the Ace of Wands on the Environment card. So something new is coming out with the Arizona Audit. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky perhaps in it's kind of a delicate situation. Um, we had the Seven of Swords on the Future card which is like having to be kind of delicate and careful in how you approach something. So whoever is in charge of this is probably going to be very gentle and careful in their delivery, or at least that's what they should be doing, um, because this is going to be uh, pretty big, I think. Um, there was the wish card on the bottom, which is like your wish being granted. With that card, that seven of swords, 
the, the card had this person wearing this crown thing and I focused in on that and it looked kind of like an upside down kind of looking crown or hat. It looked kind of strange. And to me it was like something turning on its head or turning upside down. It does seem like the event with the other event that I was picking up on, the kind of sad event, would probably take precedence in the news in terms of what's coming out and what people are going to be focusing on and wanting answers to. So that's going to, I think, be competing with anything that comes out about Arizona. I did sense Michigan coming out in the news. I'm not sure what up there, but that when I was doing the psychometry, my hand kept going back up to Michigan also, and especially over Pennsylvania, possibly New York area, that just the Northeast was really kind of strong. So on what we need to know this week, I've got the Hierophant card. I'll show it to you. The Hierophant, this is a card about order, structure, conformity, group, the whole. I do think social structure, society, that's going to play big in the news this week. Trying to maintain order, maintain structure. On what we will learn this week, I got the Five of Cups. Again, a sad card. So I do think there's some t sort of event that's going to play out, perhaps in the Northeast. Um, although I was picking up energy in different areas. Southern California, I'm not sure what's coming out there, um, but I do get some energy around there um, and possibly Michigan, but those I don't think are the sad events. Could be, but um, that I think is the Northeast. Um, so just be careful around the Pittsburgh area. It could There could be like a building issue. Um, and the outcome is Ace of Pentacles. It's a new beginning in terms of values. And I think we've got some a, a turnaround coming. In the Arizona audit, perhaps. Again, I, I think that's going to be kind of slow rolling out. Anything that comes out with regard to the Arizona audit is going to have to be handled in a delicate manner and very careful. So I'm sure that will be done. So don't look for it all to come out at once, maybe pieces and just kind of the, the gist of it will come out as it needs to. Overall, I think that we'll be okay, just feels like there might be some things happening in different areas. So just caution in the areas that I mentioned. As far as the rest of it, I think it'll be an okay week. Um, again, probably lots of news coming out, different areas in terms of like the Pacific Northwest where I live with the heat wave we're enduring up here. Um, that's probably going to be prominent in the news also, at least for a time. So hopefully temperatures will return back to normal ranges soon. Okay, uh, I think that's it for the week ahead. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like and subscribe and catch me on my other venues. I'm on Telegram, BitChute, Bridie and Rumble and Patreon if you'd like more specific for your particular week ahead, join me over there. I'll leave links in the description. Thanks for joining me today and we'll catch you next time. Until next week, bye for now.